right, let's get started. Good morning, everybody. I guess good afternoon for me because I'm in Florida and it's noon here. So good morning, good morning. My name is Stephanie and I have been drinking and sharing ketones uh, since June, 2015. So my husband, Steve, uh, introduced me to ketones <laughs> and then uh, I decided to share it. So it's been an incredible blessing for our family. I still am moving and unpacking. So hence the boxes behind us. Uh, we have four daughters. When we first started Prove It, they were babies. Uh, we now have a 16, 14, 12, and 10-year-old. It is absolutely a wild, all four girls, by the way. Uh, we are very much enjoying the teenage and preteen years. So uh, today, I'm super excited uh, because I have a story that I want you to hear. But before we dive into the story, so we're going to give you, I want you to hear somebody's story who I think is very... It, I really hope it touches you the way that I hope it does. And then we're going to give you some action steps, right, to end the month. There are some things coming that I have heard down the pipeline. But before we do that, really quick, I'm going to look for raised hands. And I also am going to look for a one in the chat. How many of you did the reboot? If you, if you legitimately did the reboot, drop a one in the chat. It's okay if you didn't. Please hear me on that. If you didn't do it, I see some of you raising your hands. So awesome. It's not a big deal if you didn't. I have another question. I need you to drop a two in the chat if you shared the reboot, whether you were doing it or not online. Did you talk about the reboot online? All right. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Uh, I've got one more thing I want to ask you. First of all, I love that you're sharing your stories of the reboot. I think Steve was down 11 pounds. So I think that's incredible. Um. I need you to drop a three in the chat if you have shared the Dollar Business Club this month more than five times with more than five people. All right. I've got a couple threes. Okay. Here's here's just something I want to share, and then I'll come back to it at the very end. Uh, something that we do in our family, so we homeschool our four girls, and a lot of what we do in our home outside of just curriculum is we are teaching our girls about business. We are teaching them about money, sales. So today in our sales school, the man that we're learning from said this. He said, the number one problem for entrepreneurs is that they don't make enough offers. They don't. And I took it as they don't ask. They don't, don't, they don't make the ask enough. We often feel like, Hey, I, I shared it, you know, a couple of days ago and I, and I just want you to hear this real quick. He said, the, the number one problem that entrepreneurs make is they don't make enough offers. They don't make enough asks. Why? Because in our head, we have this own perceived notion that I already shared. I don't want to be too salesy. I don't want people to be offended. Uh, some people can't afford it. It's too expensive. You have all of the reasons why you might go, well, I didn't really talk about the Dollar Business Club this month because, you know, I don't know if anybody actually wants to join me. Hey, I didn't talk about the reboot because I wasn't doing it or I didn't want to bombard people. So I just need you to get this into your mindset of the reason that we're not maybe seeing, listen, we're selling something. Oftentimes people try to get away from the sales word. Everybody is selling something. Your kids are selling you something. How many times do they beg you to go outside or have the popsicle or go to the ice cream store or get something at Target? Like we are innately sharing things that we love. You can say share or you can say sell, right? But the problem that most people have is they're not they're not giving people an opportunity. And I need you to hear this because he said this and I was like, oh, that's good. He said, listen, people are spending money. People will spend money on whatever they want to spend money on. He goes, if you're not making the offer, if you're not making the ask, they're just going to go spend it with somebody else. So I need you to have a remember of like, I'm drinking ketones. Here's, I know I feel amazing. I have something powerful to offer them. And so we have these little worksheets that we print off for the girls and then they listen to the videos and we work through it together. And a couple of things that he said, uh, as he said, people buy things for people buy things for what those things can do for them. He said, sales is about understanding what people like and need. 
The words we use to describe something can change how others see it. How you're sharing ketones is how people view ketones. So as you're sharing things, I need you to go, how are people actually viewing me? What is their perspective? Am I only talking about fat loss? Because the people that are watching me are going to go, oh, I, I actually, I don't need fat loss. That was me. I told my husband, I actually don't need fat loss. I'm actually fine. Until he said, listen, Stephanie, the energy is going to help you. It's going to help you focus. It's going to help turn on your brain. So the words that you use are super powerful to describe the opportunity and the product. It's how people see. They might only see it through you and they might only see it once a month, right? Unless they go Google it and decide to buy it from somebody else because they have the money. We decided we were too afraid to share it. They actually need what the other person said and you didn't share all the benefits. I'm just, I'm just kind of spewing things out, right? And then he said, listen, always think about what the other people want, not just what you want to give them. So there's a couple of things I'm going to share later on, but, but I was like, oh man, that's powerful. People have money to spend because I see them at restaurants at Target on Amazon. There's boxes outside their doors. It just depends if they're going to spend it with you and their perspective on ketones comes from you. So I want, really want to share, um, uh, I've got a friend Trenton on here and he shared his story with me last Friday and we're going to wrap this into the Dollar Business Club because we're going to end the month. We've got the Dollar Business Club. There's a couple sales that we're going to see. Radline's coming around the corner and we're going to have an end of the month sale. How are we going to capitalize on that? I want you, because only one of you put three in the comments, which means only a handful of you are actually talking about the business. Raise your hand or drop a, a one in the chat. Has this business changed your life? For me, it has. I had somebody message me today. And the lady said, I keep seeing you post pictures of you and your girls and your husband. And it looks like your husband is helping you homeschool. She goes, I don't understand. What do you do? Do you just talk about ketones? And I said, yeah, like what I get to do. And I said, it's not overnight. It's been eight years in the process. But what we our life today is a reflection of eight years of really hard work. And we can pick up our family in 30 days and move to Florida because it's an opportunity for our kids. And I do get to have my husband home with me. Not, it's not easy. I said, but it's an opportunity that if you choose to accept and you do the hard work, 100% it will change your life. So I would love for Trenton to come on. Trenton, will you come on and share your story that you shared with me? Because I need people to understand what the Dollar Business Club has to offer, what this company has to offer, and maybe why you have not been talking about the opportunity as much. So Trenton, I think you should just unmute yourself and then you can share whatever you want to share. Yeah. So, hey, uh, good morning, everybody. I'm Trent. Um, just real quickly, I am a father of five daughters. Um, I believe Amy's in here somewhere. So Amy and I both um, had the pleasure of uh, trying to raise them the best way that we see fit. Um, so let's let's talk about that. Right. So what has Prove It done for me? Um it's, it's actually really exciting. So I've lost six pant sizes. Um, pill graders have a lot better energy. Um, but let's talk about kind of how I started getting into the business side of it. So we recently moved. So I kind of know some of the things that Stephanie's going through right now. But when we moved, we was on budget um, average billing with our utilities, right? And we didn't really realize what that meant. So whenever we moved, we had two sets of utility bills that we had to pay um, for several months. And that wasn't in our budget whenever we moved. So we was going to see my dad one day. And honestly, we didn't have the gas money to get through the week. And in my mind, I remembered, hey, wait, I think I got some money in this Prove It account that I've never even looked at, right? So I look at it, and sure enough, there's $200 in there. Um, so I cashed that out and I got thinking, well, how'd that get in there? Well, I just helped some family members, right? They saw what I was doing, losing weight. So I shared the business with them. And I was enrolled as an enroller, not even sure whatever I did it, but I did it and then just kind of let it go. But because I shared with those family members, I had a little bit of money in there. And $200, when you don't have enough gas money, is a big deal, right? So, again, I started thinking, how did I get there? I just shared my journey. So I started sharing my journey um, th this last month. And here's the surprising part to me is I got paid. Right. So the next month, another, it was like $240. Um, 
and that was great. But I was with a coworker and we was carpooling and we was heading to my house and I got a text message and I looked at it and he just saw the expression on my face and he goes, what just happened? And I said, I just got paid last week with crew that I said, it's telling me I got paid again. I said, I think it's a mistake. I think it's a duplicate message, right? So I started looking at it and the crazy thing is I hit a bonus and then I got my monthly pay, right? So I got the weekly payout and I got the, um, the monthly for the, for the uh, commissions. So what I come to find out is I actually hit the MVP bonus for the month. And let me tell you, I got a screenshot of it and I want to put like before ketones, after ketones on there as a joke, because that's kind of what I've been doing with my weight loss journey. In our bank account, we had 30 cents, 30 cents in my bank account on a Friday. I get paid biweekly. We was going to go another, another full week without getting paid um, for my primary job. So right after that, I got that message. I got a message from uh, one of our customers said she forgot to place an order needed a box wanted to wanted to buy it outright and i had an extra box right so i sold it to her at her at her cost but i still made a little bit of money on there because of our discounted savings so there was a little bit there and then like two hours later i got a couple of requests for some trial packs right so there was another 40 another 40 and before the day was over i went from 30 cents to almost 400 dollars in my account and if you don't think that's huge, a single income family of five, right? I know a lot of you can, can relate to this on some level. Single income family of five, of five kids, so seven total, 30 cents to make it a week. And I, I was in a spot, right? So I started looking into it. And I told, I told some people, you know, I was like, look, I don't know how the business side works. I'm literally just sharing because of my weight loss journey and I want fat loss journey and I want to share that aspect. But since then, and I see what it's doing for both my fat loss journey and the financial side, a few, like three months ago, I canceled all my gym memberships because I couldn't afford them. And I actually started mowing yards in my neighborhood after I got off work because I figured, hey, I can lose weight and make money at the same time. But I was looking at it different, right? I was looking at the wrong venue. So now we've got a lot better option. To where I don't have to do the hard physical labor. I can legitimately help people get to where I'm going and where I am and still benefit on the side of that. So with that being said, the MVP was a huge deal. I started digging into it um, the other night. I, I'm, I'm going to hit VIP bonus this month too. So I was looking through the commissions and how that all works the other night. Uh, it was two o'clock in the morning before I could go to bed because I had already done the things, right? That's all I'm doing. If you don't know how to do it, just do the things. That's it, right? If you don't know what the things are, get in touch with Stephanie, get in touch with me. We can tell you what those things are because I'm following her game plan and she's following someone else that's successful, right? So we're all just in this together. So do the things. And I guarantee you, if you want to help people, they're going to see that. And together, we're going to be better today than yesterday. So hopefully that makes sense. And I'm excited. I'm fired up. I mean, I had to hold back tears. <laughs> Cause, cause listen, like we get into like, uh, first of all, Trent, thank you for sharing. I think your wife is on here. Uh, I got to hop on the zoom with them a couple of weeks ago, we were chatting and I said, that's our story. Like he has girls, we have girls, she stays home. I don't know if they homeschool, but like they live on a one income family. And I think sometimes we can get into this, like, if you've been here for a while, you can get not bored, but you're like doing the things, the things, what are the things Trent? I, I messaged him. He hit MVP again this month. He hit it last month. Next month, $750. So first of all, I need you to hear what changed his family's life is he was sharing what ketones did for him. He didn't have a lot of guidance. He was like, I, I just like Trent was here a long, long time ago. I met Trent a couple of years ago and then something happened, right? Trent, and you kind of, I don't want to say disappeared, but like you were doing life. You had a baby. You, you were just about to have your fifth daughter when you came to my house a couple of years ago. And then he needed money. Think about how many people need finances. They need physical change, but also financial. He found some money in his wallet from sharing and was like, oh my goodness, I can do this. You guys, Trent isn't doing anything that you shouldn't or not, not doing. He's talking to the people around him. He's 
mowing yards for extra money, working on his physical health. He's sharing online and helping people see an opportunity. And he hasn't overcomplicated it. Him and his wife are truly incredible people. And just his story, I was like, that's what people want. I think sometimes we go, you know, if you've been here for a while, you might be like, well, I don't know if they can do what I've done, or I don't know if we don't get to choose what people can and can't do or what they can afford or can't afford or the opportunity they want. Or if you're like, well, they only have 50 friends on Facebook. That was me. We, the problem is that sometimes we get in our own head and try to make excuses or try to make uh, thoughts for other people, whether they can or cannot do this. Like Trent is incredible with people. And I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your story, Trent. Actually, I got a message early. Trent, I have to send you a message because we may need to hear your story tomorrow night on the live if you're open to it. So I'll send you a message uh, and it'll be super great because your story is so relatable. I need you to understand that if you haven't talked about the Dollar Business Club, I just want you to think about what Fruit has done for you, right? Oftentimes we try to share what we think people need. People buy and people join for what they need. Right. So when somebody hears that story or the story of how you started or uh, whether it's physical or financial, people will make a decision based on how you are explaining it, your story, other people's stories, which is why it's so powerful to to invite people to the things that we offer, because you do have a story and maybe maybe your story isn't what resonates with Trent, but they follow you because they know, like and trust you. And then they heard Dr. Ryan talk about the power of the brain or they hop on tomorrow night's opportunity call because you shared it because you're not afraid because you know you're here for a reason and other people need what you have and they hear Trent's story or they hear my story or Dustin or Nick or uh, Sarah or Christina's story, right? People follow you because they know, like, and trust you. They also need to be introduced to our community. And so I just need you to think about as we're ending the month, we have an opportunity. We have a product. It's amazing. And Trent's family is changed and will forever be changed. And he'll just keep sharing his story and plugging people into the community. Super, super powerful. So thank you for sharing. Um, I have Tisha Wilson. Tisha Wilson was on, uh, she went to Seattle and she said, she just messaged me because I like to ask in some chats who wants to share. I like to see who raised their hands. And Tisha said, hey, I'd like to share something that Brian shared with me. So Tisha, I'm pretty sure you're on. Will you unmute yourself and whatever you wanted to share? I know you were super excited about it. Yeah, thank you for letting me share. I was had a meeting right before this and wasn't sure I was going to be able to, shh, but here I am. So um, I was so excited that there was a playbook in Seattle. It's very close to my house. I had no reason not to go. I probably could have walked. I didn't. I drove, but I was there. So Brian ended up coming to the event. Um, if you don't know who Brian is, he's our CEO. It, super surprised, super excited. Well, you listen to Brian talk, and honestly, I don't know what it is, but he just motivates you and inspires you, right? But the one thing that he said that I keep coming back to is, because I always say, you know what? I don't care what people think about me. I don't. I live too long. I've had too many people think whatever. I'm just done. But Brian said, that's not true. We do care what people think about us. And I was like, Brian? I'm sitting there, Brian, you're wrong. No, he goes, we do. But what's more important is what we think about ourselves. And I'm like, you're right, Brian. I do care what people think. I do. But what's more important to me is what I think about myself. And so I get up, I motivate, I inspire myself. If I have one, someone saying something to me that maybe isn't, filling my cup. Okay. I'll take it in. I'll think about why, but at the end of the day, I come back and make sure I know that I am doing the best that I can for me. And I'm like, okay, that's it. That's right. So I felt better navigating throughout my weekend. Of course, then we get on a call. I believe it was, was it last night? Maybe the night before we got on our team call and Mandy and Stephanie asked us what, like, remember when you first started ketones, what excited you? And I thought, cause I'll tell you, ketones have changed my life because I, I was always a positive person. And then I grew into an adult and I had to get a job 
and I had to work and then I worked two jobs and I did all these things and being an adult I thought was going to be so cool being an adult is not always cool you have to pay bills. Well, you don't have to pay bills. But I'll tell you, a lot of people here in Seattle don't pay bills. They live in tents. It is cold. It's rainy. No. But if, you know, you have to pay bills. If you have kids, you have to take care of them. There's all these things. It wasn't as fun. I wasn't as lit up as when I was a kid till I drank ketones. And then I felt euphoric and I felt amazing and I felt excited. And Stephanie and Mandy said, what, what, where, what, what, what happened? Like, how did you feel? And then how do you feel today? And I'm like, I felt euphoric. I felt excited and nobody could tell me anything different, right? And so I think sometimes what we do is we let the people who maybe were afraid of what people think, we let all these things get in the way and keep us from sharing. When realistically, who who cares if you know ketones are the thing? I know I drink ketones and trust me, I am no foreign person to being in HR's office, but HR called me in at work probably two weeks after I'd been drinking ketones. She said, I need to know what you're doing. And I'm like, okay, what I do this time? I don't know what I do. She was like, your team loves you. Your team always loved you, but they were afraid of you. But now they feel like you've wrapped your arms around them. What are you doing? And I'm like, let me tell you about ketones, <laughs> right? So, but somewhere along the line, because I've been drinking and sharing for probably four years now, like I kind of lost that. Maybe it was, honestly, it was probably because I get a lot of people that say no. And honestly, I don't like being told no. I like it. I like yes. And a lot of people tell me yes, especially when I was a supervisor, you don't have a choice, right? Yes, yes, yes. So the no's are hard. Um, I have other people that have said, ah, I don't know. But what you have to remember is don't worry about what anybody else says. Worry about how you, like what you think of yourself. And if you don't think highly of yourself, get with some of the people in this group because they will help you. They helped me. Call me. I'll help you. I do think highly of myself. I do think I'm a good person. I do think I bring value. No, not to everybody. And that's okay. But also use that to start sharing ketones, right? If you know ketones are it, ketones are it. You can't tell me anything different. Nothing, nothing. You can bring your other, pro you can bring whatever you want. No, ketones is my thing. I would, and put your swag back on if you're not wearing it, wear your smile, bring your shaker bottle and just talk to people. And so that's what I have. But Stephanie, I have one more thing. It's very vulnerable. It's very embarrassing, but I have to share it. I get my hair done every three to four weeks for the sake of me not being a mathematician. We're going to say that's what 13 times a year. I owe the hairdresser. It's not a big place. It's a small place. I would go in. I'm always wearing a prove it shirt, prove it jacket, whatever. Go in. I always have ketones in my car, ketones in my purse, ketones. I had it because if somebody asked me, I was going to whip them out. It wasn't happening. Nobody asked me. I didn't ask people to, that, that's beside the point, but no one. Probably three years. So that would be what, three, 13, 26, 39 times. Ooh, that was hard. 39 times at the hairdresser, sitting in my chair. I get up to go pay and I'm wearing this black jacket that has all this fancy ketone writing on the back. It was cute. I had lost a few pounds. It fit. She's like, what are ketones? I didn't have a packet. I didn't have a business card. I didn't have anything because I had somehow along the way said, okay, well, no one's going to ask. It's not going to happen. It's I threw everything out of my car. I did everything. I found one little business card. I got that gal's information, but I went back in and my hairdresser even was like, you always have stuff with you. I was like, man, I know. I know I lost my focus. So that's a lesson to you. Even if nobody asked that 39th time, someone might ask or better yet you ask them. But for whatever reason, like, don't get caught like that. I was so I'm glad it happened to me because I needed that lesson. So you know what? Always be prepared. Always believe in yourself and keep pushing. That's all I have. Thanks. Oh, thank you for sharing. Uh, so good. First of all, 
Oh, I don't know why I'm, I don't know why. Hey, Tisha, can you, I think you're, maybe you're muting. Yeah, I'm gonna mute you. Um, it was echoing, doesn't matter. Hey, that was super, super powerful, which I don't know <laughs> why I'm echoing, so please forgive me. Um, you guys, between Trent's story and Tisha's story, uh, and it kind of goes right into, listen to this. So the girls at our home school, at our sales meeting this morning, in our homeschool lesson, the man said this. He said, uh, we think we know what people want to buy, right? What's great about where we're at is we're in a company called Prove It. We offer fat loss, focus, energy. Like he says, you know, he was giving examples of other things that people sell. He says, you've got to work with the market and you've got to know what people want. No matter what, we know that people want to feel better. So bonus for us, right? But he goes, here's what you need to understand. People think they want to buy products and they want to watch you and they want to hear your story. And they're listening to the words that you're saying. He goes, but what people really want is they want to buy an experience. They want to feel a certain way. They want to hear your story. That's why your story is so powerful because it moves people, right? It moves people to join the business or try the product. Not just a picture, not just, hey, I'm waiting for somebody to come and ask me, but like, why are you so happy? I'm sure those ladies that uh, Tisha is over, like she manages a group of people, their, her experience of being kind moves people. She's always kind. Or Trenton's story of fat loss, for sure, wanting to experience fat loss, but also if he shares his story and continues to share his story over time of the 60 cents or the 30 cents in his bank account and what the company has done for him, moves people. Your story moves people. That's what people want to experience. They do it with a product. And remember, like if you, the number one reason or number one, how, how did he say it? He said the number one problem for entrepreneurs is, is they don't make enough asks. We don't make enough asks. We think people are seeing your stuff and they're not, or we're nervous or afraid. So guess what? They're going to go spend their money with somebody else. People are spending money and you don't have to decide how they spend it. They get to do it. We also know we have a product that's powerful and an opportunity that's powerful. So we get to share with a smile and excitement because we have something that can truly change people's lives. And so before we end, I really, uh, I'm going to have Mandy come on because Mandy is the queen of action steps. I feel like the best teacher in the whole world. So I asked her to come on. We do have Brad line that's going to show back up and we are going to have an end of the month sale. I don't know the percentage. I know it's going to be on seasonals. I know there's some fun things you're going to see coming out of the vault. I don't have details. But let's do this real quick. Get your pen out, get your paper out. I'm going to have Mandy wrap this up with a bow and give you a couple things that you can go do to share your story and end the month strong. So Mandy Mitchell, will you come on, please? Hi. First of all, what a great call. Y'all drop a one in the chat if this is like one of the best calls you've heard lately. Um, I love the way this rolled out. And I don't know if you did it intentionally or if it's just like the Lord is listening to all of my prayers lately because I have been feeling some kind of way about my excitement level. And uh, I did share on our team Zoom and I did share on our champ Zoom this week just about like, damn, when I first got started, like Tisha said, you couldn't tell me anything. You could not tell me a single thing. I did not follow Nick Martinez's um, piggy bank philosophy. I did not put some value in and then talk about ketones. I just talked about ketones all the time. Um, I wore my gear. Tisha, I love that you were like, get your gear back out because like, look, I'm wearing my gear today. I've not been wearing my gear. I've been like, oh, it's football season. Let me put my Steelers hat on. Steelers don't pay me shit. They don't give me anything. They cost me money. <laughs> I buy gear and then they lose. And then I think that that's bad luck. So then I don't wear the gear again. And then I have to buy new gear. So like, what am I doing? Wearing all my Steelers gear. Um, you'll still see me wearing it. Anyway, but but I got to get my gear, my gear back on. Anyway, so I hope that y'all felt the energy from this call. And I think that's my very first action step for you, actually, is that if you have not dug back into that excitement, the reason why you decided you were going to buy this. Because I don't know about y'all, but when I first made my first purchase, I couldn't afford it. Like, I, I took my hands off my laptop's keyboard. 
and almost didn't purchase it because I did not know how I was going to also make my car payment if I bought us two tubs of <laughs> orange dream and chocolate swirl, right? But there was something that made me feel so good about the five pack trial that I got that I had to do it. You know, when I decided to join the business, what were those things that made me so excited that I wasn't going to shut up about it, right? So like, that's your first action step for today is if you if you aren't feeling that same level of excitement when you first got started and decided to open your mouth about this at the first time, find that level of excitement. So go back, tell somebody your initial story, make a post about it, write it down, because I do believe it's very true. After seven years, I've just gotten used to it being awesome. That's a different level of energy, right? So first action step is find your excitement um, and harness into that. Uh, my second, I'm going to be real quick and easy because I can also send out a pulse if you need specific, like this is what to say and this is who to talk to. But with Radline coming today, I'm going to encourage you, even if you're not using it, like Stephanie suggested at the beginning, like maybe you didn't do the reboot, but did you talk about it? Oh, I think I made one post about it. That's not enough, right? Uh, even if you're not fully confident in sharing the business yet, are you sharing it? oh, I am confident in sharing the business. I know how to do this. And I didn't share the business. I didn't share the Dollar Keto Club. I didn't have a new promoter join me this month. So what the hell am I doing? Same thing with Radline. Maybe you haven't had a chance to experience yet. Maybe it's not your jam, uh, whatever the case may be, but are you sharing it? So first and foremost, make a post, put something in your story, ask people, hey, who in my friends list uses a pre-workout? I found something really awesome or I have something really awesome. That's a great way to grab some attraction so you can make a post. Uh, if you know you had people who ordered the last time we had this, it's a great opportunity for you to check back in with those people. You can find them in your cloud office. So you can do manage community insights, filter, Radline, and you can find anyone in your community who's ordered Radline and pop them a message to let them know that it's out. Um, if you're in Canada, I know if you love this because it's like your brand, it's like you have a product, right? You get, you have to watch everybody down here get keto kick and you have to watch everybody down here get keto up. So y'all always kill it. We should probably have Canadian people talk about Radline on here because I know they, they, their customers love it. Um, share your experience with it. If you, if you've used it, if you still have one, I don't have any from our last order. So I can't go in my stories and shake one up anymore. I should have been smart and saved one. Um, but if you have it on hand, shake it up, talk about it in your stories. Those are great action steps. What I really want to focus on those steps is just like how you build attraction so that whatever sale we have at the end of the month really works for us. Because the people who have the most success when we have a sale are not the people who just decide to talk about ketones or just decide to show up on the days we have a sale. It's the work we do before that right? It's the interactions we have with people before that. So I'm going to encourage you also talk about Radline, right? That's important. If that's coming today, invite people to listen into the call with Brian and Dr. Jacob. They're going to talk about Radline, I think on that call. Um, but my other suggestion is just be an active social human being on social media for the next couple of days specifically. This is the time where you really want to dig in and make posts that people are going to engage with. So not necessarily about ketones, like what temperature do you keep your thermostat at? Are you excited that it's fall or do you already miss summer? Anybody taking any trips with their family this Christmas? I'm thinking of going, Where? what's a great Christmassy place to go? I need ideas. Um, living off of dry shampoo lately. Ladies, give me your favorite dry shampoo. Um, anything like that. Posts that will create interactions with you are a great way to get eyeballs on your page. Um, and also interacting with other people. So this is an opportunity to like, who are the last 10 or 15 people that you've added to your social media? Have you checked in with them? Have you commented on their posts? Have you, um, complimented them on their kids' adorable back to school picture outfit days or whatever the case may be? Have you asked questions? Have you 
have you interacted with people or are you just posting and hoping people interact with you? Because that's not the way social media works. So if you are using social media to build your business, it cannot just be, let me make content, let me make content, let me make content, let me consume content, let me consume content, let me consume content. We actually have to interact with human beings. So the more you can do that in the next 24, 48 hours, the more people are going to see when you do make posts. The more people are going to see when we do drop a sale. The more people are going to see when we do have fun flavors that come back into the vault. And I'm sure we can do like an action hour Zoom or whatever when that happens. But you will have more success with those action steps you take on the days we have a sale than if you... Then you'll have more success then if you do stuff now. And I just thought I got distracted because Liz said my story views have been so low lately. The number one way to increase story views, if you don't, if you're there about this, so that your posts will do better whenever we have a sale, is to interact with other people. It's the number one way. Interact with other people. Go through their posts. Go through their stories. Spend some time being an actual human being to actual human beings. So I know those aren't like high caliber, make $7,000 today action steps. But I think that if you can, A, do the things we know what to do with Radline coming out, talk to people who've used it before, share it in your stories, ask if people uh, use a pre-workout those things that we know how to do. And then if you spend the next couple of days, Steph, do you know like when the, if we're going to do, you don't know when. I don't, no. I don't, but here's what I will say. If um, we do have a zoom with Brian, did you guys all see that in the pulse in mm -hmm. an hour? So with Dr. Jacob and, and I think what they're going to talk about is the rad line. I think just to kind of give more of an overview to help us explain it. I would guess we'll probably see the sale a couple of days before. So maybe this weekend, maybe Friday. I don't know all the details. I just briefly overheard a little birdie say there's probably going to be something fun coming. So yeah. I would say in the next 24 to 48 hours, have fun on your social media and interact with people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then this is also my last thing. This is also a great time uh, to check in with anybody who's still going to be new for you towards the end of this month, like new volume. Um, I love when I think we're going to have an end of month sale, which let's be honest, is almost every single month. It's rare when we don't. Um, I love checking in with people and then going, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're loving it. I think we might be having a sale for the end of like the last couple of days of the month. Do you want me to put you on a list and let you know so you can get some more at a better price? Like just putting that on to people stuff is really helpful for me because it gives me a specific list of people that I can check back in with. And I'm not trying to check back in with everyone the day the sale drops. Right. So like specifically for me on Friday and Saturday, I actually have a really busy personal life on those two days. So I'm not going to have all the hours that I normally have put into the last two days. So I want a specific short list. So I'm going to check in with every single human being that's ordered from me this month, trial packs, uh, first time orders. And I'm just going to say, you know, A, I should be checking in with them anyway, right? We should be checking in on their journey and making sure that they're doing well, but then letting them know, hey, a little birdie told me I was on a call today and I think we're going to be dropping a sale for the end of the month. Sounds like we're going to have some fun flavors available too. Do you want me to let you know so you can grab some more at a better price? Like such a simple question. It's so thoughtful. I love to know when things are on sale. Um, and then you have a list of people you can reach out to immediately when that happens. So those are my that's what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of days. I love that. Thank you for sharing. So I have a little birdie in my ear that said, hey, things may have shifted. We might not see the red line today. It might be tomorrow. Here's what I'm going to encourage you to do. Um, we're probably going to have more of like a red line and then we might have more of like a blitz. So it might not be like a three day sale. We might see a blitz or two. Here's what I want you to understand, which you all know, right, is we're all excited. I love that Mandy said, go back to your excitement. Make sure if you can hop on that Zoom with Brian today, because I think we'll have more of an understanding of RAD so that we can go and share it, hopefully tomorrow. And then whatever blitzes they decide to do, that's an opportunity for us to share. So I don't know if it'll be a full store-wide sale, if it'll just be a blitz here and there. But remember, we have coupons. And remember, something that Mandy shared, and I'm going to end this, uh, we had a smaller team Zoom the other night. She said, 
Do you guys remember when in the very beginning years ago when we had people bought a box full price? And then if you had extra prove it bucks, you could share it. But no matter what, they didn't get the 15% off. We didn't have that till recently. How many of you used to, you know, people paid full price and then the following month. So like between people adding SmartShip points and then coupons, you guys, it's a really incredible uh, opportunity to take this excitement and go, yeah, I do have a sale. Uh, I have a sale no matter what, whether they drop a big sale or they do a blitz, it doesn't matter. We're excited. We've got a great opportunity, incredible stories from the people that shared. Radline will be coming, whatever blitz they have for us, and you have opportunity to offer coupons. So Mandy has one more thing to share and we're going to end. Yeah, sorry. I know we wanted to keep this really short, but when you said we were switching to blitz, my brain immediately went, oh, okay, well, how am I going to shift to make sure I let everybody know about blitz sales? Because you know, y'all, sometimes those are just three or four hours long and people are at work. You might not catch the pulse. I have missed blitz sales. Uh, and if I'm looking for them, you can imagine that sometimes our customers don't see everything. So one thing you could do, um, especially because this is just that time of year where we do holiday sales and Black Friday and 12 days of Christmas. If you haven't been here, we do all sorts of fun things this time of year. Um, I would suggest if you don't have this already, or if you haven't invited people to it all, in a while and you do have one is to set up a VIP chat. So if you don't have a place where you kind of like keep everybody that's interested, this is a great time to say, hey, we're headed into that time of year where there are tons of fun flavors and tons of fun sales on my magic drink. Who wants to be on my VIP list? So I can make sure you know first. And you can add all of those people into a chat on Facebook, you can do it on Instagram. You can do it in WhatsApp. You can do it wherever you want to do. And then that way, as soon as we have a blitz, you can take that information and share it with a large group of people at once who are specifically looking for that kind of information, right? So if you haven't done it yet, A, that's a great way to get some interaction in the next couple of days is making sure you're posting about ketones and asking who wants to be a part of your VIP list um, or in your VIP chat, and then getting people added so that when you have those blitz sales, you can just let people know right away. I love that. I think it's super powerful because then you're right. If we only have three or four hours to share something, then everybody can see it. So, hey, we gave you a ton of action. I want to say thank you to Trent and Tisha for sharing your stories. Super powerful. We appreciate you. Thank you, Mandy, teacher Mandy, for coming on and give us some action steps. Thank you guys for showing up. I really, truly um, appreciate it. We'll get the uh, recording out so your team can watch it later because I think those stories are powerful. Continue to watch your pulse. And if you can hop on, hop on with Brian and Dr. Jacob here in one hour. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Go share your story. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.